right, Dapper Cracker back at you. We're going to do a review on this epoxy floor base. It's called uh, Insulex. It's a professional grade epoxy, waterborne, has virtually no odor. This one is showroom gray. It says it covers 250 square, but I thinned it. Well, I didn't thin it, but I stretched it to do 325 on the first coat. So I went and got another one. If you guys want to screenshot this, that's your mixing directions. You just mix each one separately and then mix them in a bucket. This is how I'm doing it. So you mix your part B and your part A and then pour your B into your A. What I do is mix them separately then I pour the big one, the gallon A, in the Homer bucket and then add the white activator with the mixer here with the drill. And you have to let it sit for 30 minutes for induction time. But guys, I love it. It seems to be a really good product. I've read reviews on Rust-Oleum Rock Solid and other brands. There was this Eagle brand, but it was just going to be a clear epoxy coating so I kind of wanted some color in here and I didn't want any flakes but I etched it with rust-oleum cleaning etch it's essentially muriatic acid I would say but that's what I used even though the direction says to use the Insulex but it doesn't matter I mean you know etch is etch muriatic is muriatic but that's what I used to etch it with we washed it like three or four times with soap and water and then we etched it with a big push broom right there cleaned everything up but i like it guys if it's something you think you want to look into check it out it's called insulex and i got mine at my local hardware store you don't know, think you can get this at home depot or lowe's i could be wrong but i didn't see any product like this but uh i'll let you know if you're looking at this video a couple of years down the road hit me up in the comments and i'll let you know how it's doing dap a cracker out i'd all right dap a cracker back at you uh Final thoughts on the Insulex Garage Floor Epoxy. I love it. Um, almost has no odor, guys. Now, what I did have to do on a second coat application was I had to get on my hands and knees and rough this up with 150 grit sandpaper the entire floor so the second coat would stick. Other than that, it did really good. You can walk on it in like 24 hours and set heavy objects on it within 24 hours. Drive on it in 72. But overall, I kind of like the stuff. And I mean, you see it, it looks really good. Looks really good. So I'm starting to paint and get my baseboards in for the wainscot. But uh, you guys should try it out. I uh, got this one at a local hardware store, but uh, that's my final thoughts, guys. If you got questions again down the road, three, four, five, ten years from now, hit me up in the comments. I'll let you know how she's doing. Dapper Cracker out.